boy, was I correct in what I I, I kind of said, you know, last week when we talked about, you know, this week in NFL football. My God, this was one of the worst slates of NFL football I have ever seen in my entire life. As we try to recap week seven, I don't I don't know what's going on here, man. Probably one of the worst weeks I've ever seen in my entire life. It it, it got punctuated by a lot of games I thought was going to be good, but they turned out not to be good. Not at all. Like, the Browns beat the Broncos, and the, Bron the Broncos are so inept on offense, it's crazy. Like, this team... This team was 3-0. Yeah, it was against bad competition, but... God, are the Broncos gonna get like, you know, like a bad pick in the draft? Like a top 10 pick in the draft now? My goodness, man. The Titans whooped the Chiefs. Like, this Chiefs defense is dog doo-doo. It is doo-doo water. Terrible. Patrick Mahomes could not get anything going. I mean, he even left the game with an injury. I mean, the Titans were just dominant from start to finish. The Packers took care of Washington, like I said again. Washington is the tough out. You, know, you can't. I mean, you can't expect Taylor Heineke to do much. I mean, pa I mean, Aaron Rodgers is just, you know, he's doing what he does best, which is, you know, playing good football. With the rest of his team, and I mean, the Packers are just doing the best they can, man. Playing the best of their abilities. Um, Jamar Chase went off against the Ravens. We're talking. We're talking he's smoked Marlon Humphrey at least once in this game. And I was giving praise to Humphrey earlier in the week. But, uh, yeah, that that kind of got broken. I mean, the rest of the Ravens' defense did not fare much better. I mean, capped off with a Samaj P. Ryan and Joe Mixon touchdown, you know, late. I mean, the Ravens got smacked at home by their Bengals. Like, I did not expect this at all. And now the Bengals, I believe the Bengals are the ones that technically are the one seed in the AFC now. Like, this is crazy stuff. Like, I did not expect this. I don't think anybody expected this. Now people are talking about, oh, well, the Bengals shouldn't have drafted an old lineman now. No, they still should have. Y'all are just overreacting. They they still should have drafted an old lineman in, in the draft. That, 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 that That's honestly what needs to happen. Like, the Giants... I was very surprised by the play call like of Jason Garrett in, in the latter stages of this game. Like there were some trick plays in here. There there was some good ass plays in here, including a pass to Daniel Jones where he one handed catched it. Like this this does not make any sense. Like Sam Darnold was seeing ghosts out there. He got benched for XFL legend PJ Walker. This was rough. Like what happened to the Panthers? We all thought they were good too. Then a three and four. This doesn't make any sense, man. The Falcons almost choked again, but yet they beat the Dolphins. And like, you know, you can't you can't fault to it now. You gotta fault this defense for the Dolphins. I mean, I get it. There are injuries on the Dolphins' defense, but you gotta fault the Dolphins for something, right? My goodness, Patriots. Destroyed the Jets like everybody expected. Like this was like, I mean, they didn't have to score 54 points on the Jets, but they did anyway. Tough stuff right there. Um, now the Eagles gave it a fight against the Raiders, but um, in the end, the Raiders did win. You know, same thing for the Lions. They're still winless. They gave the Rams a good fight. You know, it, it was a good fight for them. Can't say the same for the Bears and the Buccaneers though. Like. This this was rough. Three picks for Justin Fields. Three more turnovers as well. Um, like this this was a rough game. You know Tom Brady and company was just looking looking. They were firing on all cylinders. Like this this is a rough game for the Bears. This is a rough game to watch. You know if you watched it. I did not watch this game. I'm telling you right now. I did not watch this game. I did not. This was a rough, rough game for the Bears. Like they're three and four now. Bucks is still six and one. You know, in a unique score, I don't think I've seen it in a while. You know, I don't think I've seen. Well, there was a, a 
it was 5-3 at one point in the Giants-Panthers game, but the Cardinals are still undefeated. They're, they won 31-5 to as the Texans. 31-5. to This was rough, man. Oh, boy. Colts beat the 49ers. Now, this game was played in all sorts of terrible conditions, and the play on the field reflected that. You know, this was... This was a rough game. I mean, Josh Norman, how many times do we have to see this dude get burned on big plays, you know? How many times? How many times? My goodness, man. Like, Wentz had a bad throw in this game that just, you know, I mean, I thought it was a bad throw at one point. Or unless, uh, unless I'm looking at something wrong, because I mean, I was looking at the highlights earlier and stuff. Or rather, the lowlights, because this was, a, this was a rough game. I have no idea how... The Colts got 30 points in this one. Because, I mean, Wentz only threw for a 150. Because I'm looking at the stats now. Can't seem to access the 49ers stats for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on out here. But, um, in the game that just finished up about 20 to 30 minutes ago, probably, by the time you're seeing this, um, Seahawks, Saints, this was rough to watch. I mean, the game next week with the Buccaneers for the Saints is going to look a little bit more interesting. You know, the Manning cast was insane as always. I didn't watch it. I know there's there some clips that got clipped, like Sue Bird being on it and Marshawn Lynch being on it. But, I mean, other than that, Saints-Seahawks was an ugly game in which the Seahawks won it. At, or rather, the Saints won it at the end. Excuse me. My bad. I already messed up. I mean, this game is so atrocious to look at, you know, if you watched it. Just an atrocious game all around. I mean, I know Jimmy G threw, yeah, Jimmy G, did, it was Jimmy G that threw that bad interception. I mean, this was just, this was just a rough week of games. Like, I, I, I do not want to experience this again. Like, this is one of the worst weeks of NFL football I have ever seen in my entire life. The expectations for this week were so high. They were so high. And I could not be more wrong in everything that I said in my preview video. I, I could not be more disgusted by what happened on the field this week. Thankfully, next week looks a little better. Just a little bit. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's not a lot. There's not, there's not a lot again. Next week, there's a couple of big ones, but not too many big games next week that I'll be looking at. You know, there, there's some big ones for sure next week. It's a lot better than this week. A lot better for week eight. But week seven, my goodness. I know Joe Flacco just got traded to the Jets because Zach Wilson got injured. I believe it's like a uh, MCL or something like that. Some, something along, along the lines of his foot, you know, close down there. But, I mean, this this week was rough, man. And uh, I I don't know what to say. Like this this I don't know what else to say. Like I think about just end the video right here because this was this is bad. This is bad week, man. Like we we can't have another week of NFL football like this. But there's just nothing interesting. Like. Like I'm, I'm always for the top teams going up against each other. That's what I like about the NFL, which is top teams going up against each other. So the fact of the the fact of the matter that there wasn't really any matchups, you know, aside from a couple, and even those ended up being blowouts. Aside from you know, you know, a couple of games that were that became interesting towards the end and stuff like that. You know, I, I just don't know. I just don't know at all. Whew. All right, everybody. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the college football preview. I know that's gonna be a lot longer. I know, I know, I know, I know. The NFL videos have been as long. I mean, again, there's not as much games, and I mean, again, the teams this year, you know, there, there's been some middle league product on the field. In all honesty, this week really, really showed that I thought the pair. I thought this league had. I thought the NFL had parity this year. No, this is really a top-heavy league this year. My goodness. My 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 prediction was completely wrong. It's a lot of parity between a lot of mid teams, you know, a lot of mediocre teams, but not at the top. There's a lot of top teams, yeah. Whew. 
Well, all right, everybody. Y'all take care. Have a good night. You, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Do all that good stuff. Make sure you buy my book. It is out now. I keep forgetting to link it. So I'm going to link it here in, at the end of this, or rather in the description. And that'll do it. Take care, everybody.